All right, we're packing for our trip. We've got three people in this suitcase. That's pretty good. And who takes up the most space? You. Which is so sad. This is me right here. This is Oakland, and yeah. this is him. Ooh, don't show my pink underwear. Will you put it there? <laughs> His little cute shoes. Oak, you ready to go to the beach? Levi's not ready. <laughs> yeah, we got sad Levi back there. He knows what these suitcases mean. Yeah, poor buddy. Oki's ready, though. Yeah, clap it up, man. Yay! Here the car is, all packed and ready to go. This is uh, kind of a joke for three people, two and a half people. <laughs> and I thought we were minimalists too. Like I thought we didn't bring that much stuff. And then we see it together and it's just like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, let's just say traveling with a baby is a little bit different than traveling alone. Hey there guys. <laughs> Follow me. Right, right this way. This bag is so heavy. Right, we made it to the airport and we are trying to strap everything along here. I got Oakland here on me, my backpack on me, and then somehow we got to carry all of this. It's cold out here. It's God, cold the please help us. People are probably going to be thinking we're... <laughs> ah, this is funny. This should be... This is why you show up to the airport three hours early. Hey, we made it through leg one of our trip. Yay. Now it's to the flight. What are you most nervous about? Well, we have a scheduled baby on our hands and he is like scheduled to the max, which is great when you're at home, but you take him out of his home. And that's what I'm worried about because he already missed his first nap. He only slept for like 15 minutes in the car. And then the flight is like two hours of his second nap, so. <laughs> and so far he's like, been, he's been like just seeing random people and just like starts freaking out and just crying and screaming. So we're gonna be stuck in a tube with a bunch of people. He's not used to people. for the next couple days. Look at that view. Oh yeah. Look at that water, that color is popping. Okay, you wanna get out there? Okay. You wanna get out there? Yay, let's go. Whee! You gonna be our tour guide for the day? <laughs> this is good on the way here. We, you know, you don't show the hard times because in the midst of them, it's so humiliating to <laughs> me. We were in the airport and he is screaming his head off and we don't know why. Mm. And that's just not a time you want to pull the camera out, you know? So don't be fooled to think that we had it super easy. We didn't. Yeah, we definitely did not have it easy, but we are here. We made it. Oki, what are we doing in Mexico? Swimming! Yeah! <laughs> Let's hit the beach. So we finally made it to the beach. Oakland got his first little meal of sand in. I think he likes it. And I think- And so he, he had ice cream. He had ice cream. So Oakland is only allowed ice cream at the beach. <laughs> he's loving it out here so far. He's, he's poking my belly button, eating sand and ice cream. Um, so we finally made it to the beach here. <laughs> I think what a day. So, I think Oakland found a girlfriend. He's been staring at this girl for like 30 minutes. She's like three though. She's too old for him. <laughs> Oakland, be modest. Get that Speedo out of the frame. We got to our hotel and everyone here is super nice. Oakland. Oh. <laughs> here we go. You lost sight of this girl. Anyway, everyone here so far is really nice and uh, we're excited for the days to come. Our biggest fear is that it might be really difficult being at the beach with a baby. You know, when me and Sutton used to come to the beach, we would just hang out, 
And now we take have naps. Take naps. And now we got like this to take care of. <laughs> okay, can we just relax? Go and see me sand. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, how do you like that? No. Good morning. Wake up, San Francisco. Wow, look at this morning view. It looks like the sun is about to come up. Wow, look at that. I've never been up so early on vacation in my life. Not a soul out there. We've got our bottles. The Oakland, you're not drinking your bottle. There's too much going on here. He's too excited for it. Cheers. Cheers. This is water, by the way. Wow, look at this sunset. Rise. Oh, did I say sunset? Sunrise. Look at this sunrise. This is the perfect sun. We got the, this is like front and center sunrise spot. I have not seen any sunrises in my life, have you? I don't know if I've ever seen the sunrise from the horizon. Together. That's pretty cool. I mean, I've seen like the sunrise over trees and stuff, but I don't know if I've ever seen it so the sunrise over like the horizon of the ocean. Thank you. Breakfast time. We made it. We got our cool little tent set up. Check out this cool little tent set up we got here. With the bean bags, this thing folds up to be really small and you just use the wind. We made it. What do you all have to say for yourselves? Ah. We actually made it on the beach. We're here. Who would have thought it would be such an accomplishment? <laughs> With all this stuff, it is an accomplishment. Right. Okay, are well, you happy it's today? Girls coming nice out here. Today's been kind of a rough day for me. I came down with what they call a stomach virus. I think they call it traveler's diarrhea, but I haven't had the diarrhea part. <laughs> Day one, he's already but, falling apart. So I've been feeling really weak, but I mustered up all the energy I had to come out here to the beach. Okay, help me. <laughs> I made the mistake of eating undercooked meat last night. Never again. And now every time I think of that hamburger, I feel like growing up. Get it in there. <laughs> hey, man. Enjoying yourself? Are you so happy? <laughs> we finally made it to dinner. I think that's how every video starts. We finally made it somewhere. <laughs> This is a really cool little restaurant inside the hotel. Check it out. He's been called a girl. This lady talked to us and called him a girl the entire time. Yeah, what is the deal? Every time we take him to the doctor, he gets called a girl. Every time we're out in public, like, I don't think anyone has ever called him a boy. Do it's you? like astonishing, the ratio. I mean, it- Does this look like a girl or a girl's outfit? I feel like it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Does it? Are you a girl? <laughs> Are you a little girl? Hey, Aki. Aki. Huh? What is a gruff wake up? Good morning. Hey. <laughs> you ready to go to the beach again? Okay. Okay. You want to go to the beach again? Let's go. Breakfast of champions right there. That's what you do when you get food poisoning from the meat. <laughs> I 
25 weeks. Look at pretty mama. Little baby in there. His first trip out of the country. All right, guys, our vacation is coming to an end. This is the sunrise of our last day. And I don't know if we ever really uh, made it clear what happened to us, but basically, my very first, our very first night, I got sick. If you've been making it look like this should have been fun in this video, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so our first day when we got here, we realized we were like, okay, this is going to be really challenging with Oakland. Just two of us trying to take care of them, but also enjoying ourselves at the same time because we quickly realized how how difficult it is to take care of them in these conditions. Yeah, he the first day was rough because he missed both of his naps with that flight and stuff. I mean, he took like little ones. But he's used to like four hours total of a nap a day or something like that. So he wasn't very happy. Our getting trying to get milk for him was a big ordeal, which who would have thought? Yeah. It was a rough first day with him. I'm downstairs checking in at the desk and I come up here. I don't know when I was, but I come up in the room and Oakland's just bawling and Sutton's like, this is so much fun. <laughs> those times that you don't think like let's pull out the camera and film this <laughs> yeah so anyway that was the start we were like okay wow this is a more challenging than we thought it was going to be and then the double whammy hit this the very first night i get food poisoning any of you guys coming to mexico never get undercooked meat but then on top of that they tried to get me to eat it and thank god i said no yeah so i get sick i feel like crap our very first day here and then that night, Sutton gets sick. The next night. Our second night, Sutton gets sick. We went to this Asian restaurant for dinner, and it was the best thing I've eaten this whole time. I was like, wow, this is really good. And then that night at 11 o'clock, I woke up, and I was like, oh, no, I don't feel good. And I threw up about 10 times in a row. Like, it was, like, constantly coming out to where I couldn't breathe, and I, I'm not a good throw she was crying in the bathroom i'm googling what it what is it okay for pregnant women to get food poisoning and there was a lot of scary things on there so we're freaking out i just went jobs <laughs> all right take two my shoulder was getting tired anyway so i'm google searching what is it okay if pregnant if your pregnant wife gets food poisoning and there's all these horrible things showing that it can cause stillbirth and it cause it a miscarriage. A miscarriage. So huh, that was kind of a miserable night. And then all yesterday, Sutton is recovering. I'm still trying to recover. And then still trying to take care of him. <laughs> yeah. And then so our last day is today and now we feel better and we're leaving in like a couple hours. Yeah, so we got here Monday night. He felt, that's when he got sick. All Tuesday he was sick. All Wednesday I was sick. Today's Thursday. We're going home. So long story short, we came... Don't come to Mexico! <laughs> story short. <laughs> we came to a beautiful... This place is beautiful. The hotel yeah, was, is amazing. amazing. Look at this. The water, the sand. It's like one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever been to. Yeah. But coming here with a baby, getting food poisoning for three days, <laughs> we... It just didn't, it didn't turn out very great for us. But we had some good moments, didn't we? We did, yeah. We tried, we made the most of it. We had, we had a total of probably uh, 30 awesome minutes here. <laughs> we do want to come back. We really do because we just want to do over. This was... For those of you that always think our life is perfect and happy, hopefully this can be a good example of that. It's not always that way. <laughs> we didn't show it, but y'all wouldn't have wanted to see it anyway. And that this is real life and... Uh, who knows, maybe this will inspire people to not always put their highlight reels on their social media and that sometimes life is hard like this. And not have so, such high expectations for a vacation, because I did. Yeah. I thought it was going to be great. Alright, he wants to keep walking. Um, anyway, okay. anyway, so next time we go on a vacation, we'll probably be in 10 years when all, of our, all, kids, when all of our kids can walk and talk. <laughs> But until then, we'll see you in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the beautiful Caribbean. We're saying bye-bye so nice. for now. I don't want to leave. I just want to have one healthy day. We didn't even get to enjoy it. <laughs> we'll have to come back. Oh, man. You want to come back? He's been having the time of his life. Haven't he you? loves it here, which is all that really matters. If he's happy, we're happy. <laughs> Yay, bye-bye.